Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beard Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And we are going back to Three Floyds. I get a ton of requests for Three Floyds beer, and this is one I've really been looking forward to. Um, it was released months ago, maybe back in March, um, on tap only, draft only release. A lot of people really liked it, raved about it. Um, you know, growlers were traded of it all over the country. So I think they finally decided to release it in six packs so you can get it from them. This, my friends, is one of the best named beers I've ever heard. This is a freaking zombie dust. A 6.2% American Pale Ale. It's a single hops American Pale Ale, citra hops to be exact. Um, one of my favorite hop varieties, nice, sweet, orangey, citrus qualities to it. Um, and here's a little uh, beer geek factoid for you. Citra was, was bred from Hellertel hops to Tanager hops, Brewer's Gold hops, and East Kent Goldings. They took a little bit of all those, got them together, and you got Citra hops. So a big hop variety is becoming very popular. It's a little tough to brew with because the alpha acidic acids kind of fluctuate from batch to batch and grower to grower. But wait, let me get this one to a glass, let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Three Floyd Brewing Zombie Dust. The appearance on the zombie dust, uh, it's a sunset golden orange, um, a slight bit of haze in there, might be chill haze, um, a decent amount of light getting through the actual beer itself. There's a, a light yellow hue where the curves meet the light on the glass. Um, nice two finger, really white, nice, brilliant white head on there. Nice tight white bubbles, carbonation coming off the side of the glass. Yeah, it's a really nice looking pale ale. Guys, so the aroma on the zombie dust. Wow, massive, brilliant, super pungent, grapefruit, orange juice coming through. Big astringency in this one. There's a slight breadiness, a slight kind of biscuit quality coming through to help kind of blend with the hops a little bit. Yeah, but overall, for a pale, this thing is massive, just huge, astringent, pungent fruits coming off of it. Wow. Right, the taste on the zombie dust. Cheers. Front of the tongue, a huge, huge slice of bitterness. Um, middle of the mouth, wow, just big sweet fruits, uh, like a big, just pungent, astringent, orange peel kind of taste. Grapefruit, super ripe grapefruit. There's a touch of like a peach or a sweet kind of pineapple coming through as well. Um, really helps to kind of cut the astringent notes. Nice breadiness in this one. There's a nice biscuit quality again coming through. A uh, ton of a pilsner taste as far as the malt go. Nice sweet, fruity sweetness in there. Really, really dry finish. Aftertaste. Um, again, it's just massive, astringent, pungent citrus fruits, grapefruit. 6.3%. Easy, easy to drink. Goes right down. You don't taste any of the alcohol. I'm not getting any off flavor. It's just a big, big, hoppy, intense, aromatic you know, uh, sinus filling beer um, that really kind of balances out with a really, really nice, you know, biscuit caramel note to it. And it's just, wow, a really, really nice drinking beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the zombie dust from Three Floyds Brewing, 6.2% American Pale Ale, single hop citra pale ale. But guys, I think I gotta give this one an A. Um, I think this is definitely one of the best American pale ales produced today. It's definitely up there with, say, an Oscar Blues Dale's Pale, and definitely holds a fire to Bell's Two Hearted. Um, there's, you know, you kind of get a similar hop profile. I think this one is definitely more astringent, more pungent, where Two Hearted is more of on the sweeter side, more kind of maltiness to it. This one is just an all out hop assault but it's a super drinkable, not overly bitter, really, really balanced well with a nice biscuit and caramel malt in this one. Just great stuff all around. Great drinking beer, easy to drink, not too intense, but just intense enough to make it interesting. Gonna get an A from me. Remember folks, life is too short. Oh, excuse me, drink amazing beers. Cheers.